Hi everyone, welcome to the Peer Tutors of Maryland Session 2 informational video. Um, our Session 2 will begin Monday, November 9th and go until January 29th. And the reason for that being it's the second quarter of the school year. Uh, we're going to be prepared to help with two subjects, math and reading. Reading uh, study groups will take place between 3.30 and 4.30 uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Math for second through seventh grade will take place uh, Tuesday, Thursday, but from 4.30 to 5.30. High school study groups will take place 5.30 to 6.30. And then one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions will be available upon request uh, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. And also we're gonna try to stay between 3.30 and 6.30, uh, but there are some other options available just got to contact me and um, we'll set that up. The study group cost is $95 and that's one time for the 10 week session. One-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring is $200 if you'd like the one time per week session or 360 for twice per week. So to find out all the information about Peer Tutors of Maryland, you can go to our website peertutorsofmaryland.com. You can Google Peer Tutors of Maryland and you can also see us on Facebook. Our mission is to provide effective online assistance in mathematics and other subjects to students at a cost that their families can afford. So hopefully you noticed that those prices I just gave were more than reasonable and that's on purpose. And it comes from the way that we have designed our tutoring team. Our vision is that we could create a team atmosphere like this to help students um, in other locations and using the same methodology that we've created and are uh, improving upon that other people could do the same thing and we could help families that are normally outpriced by tutoring markets. We also wanna make sure that each program is small and that the families that we serve feel like uh, they can reach out to any of us and um, that we really know them. It's not like a huge corporation, you know, um, that is all over the country, one, one big thing, and, and um, you have to call customer service to voice any sort of complaint. Um, so session one, well, what happened in session one was we had a small enough enrollment that allowed for me and the other teachers to really invest in our peer tutors and help them with their instructional strategies. Um, we also learned that we're gonna concentrate our session times between 3.30 and 6.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then um, if enrollment grows, then we'll expand out from there. But make sure that you guys who wanna enroll now are available at those times so that you can get a session. Uh, we also strengthened our team concept Every Monday, the peer tutors, the teachers, we all have a team meeting at 5.30 uh, where we talk about instructional strategies, uh, recap how things are going, talk about any issues. Uh, there's always a teacher in the Zoom room popping in and out of sessions and um, collecting data, giving feedback. We're, we also set it up so that the peer tutors can give one another feedback and so we're all trying to grow together and feel like this is our organization ready to serve you. We've also developed uh, more strategies for communicating with parents and students about how things are going. Uh, we're gonna have a feedback form for session two. That's gonna have the topic, uh, the learning level, which you can see more about at the website and the next steps for the student after they leave the session. Our learning process um, is very important because it's what makes an effective tutoring session or just effective learning in general. And that's that the student would come to the session having received instruction in class and trying their assignments before the session. Uh, a lot of times right now, there are different virtual ways that students do their assignments so they can know whether they have it right or wrong. And then they can come to the tutoring session with the work that they know is wrong and they need help with so that we can talk about the concept 
and then they can go back after the session and try that same assignment again. So we're never actually doing the assignment for them or with them, but we're uh, enabling them to get it done themselves, you know, through some extra practice and teaching. So the way we do that is by having the students put the qu their questions and the exercises, you know, the problems they want to do in something called an organized worksheet, which is a Google Doc with a table, but it's very powerful because everyone who needs to see it can see it and the students can easily find uh, the questions they want to ask and the questions they've asked before and even the help that they've got at any time they want. So it's, it's good to uh, help them keep track of their learning and whenever they need to review, everything is right there at their fingertips. So I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but it also helps the peer tutors. So having the problems that the students want to go over before the session allows them to plan and prepare and for us to plan and prepare with them, make a game plan for each session. After the students, uh, after the session, the students get um, a task such as retry the assignment, demonstrate their understanding through, you know, maybe an explanation video or something, or even applying their learning. So if the students are really understanding a subject, then uh, we can task them with finding out how they actually use that in real life. Um, so now I want to show you that organized worksheet because as you can see, I put it in red here. And that's because for session two, we really want to ensure that parents are looking at the organized worksheet as well as students before they come to the session. So let's go ahead and look at that. This is an example from uh, one of my classes. And so you can see this organized worksheet has a heading. And for each group, it'll say the week and the topics that they learn in that week. Um, any notes that they get will be there. The problems, you can see these are problems posted by students and they put their name there. So we have Michael and Terry. Uh, the other thing is this one's green, this one's red. Well, the reason for that is that Michael posted this and he originally said, how did you get the answer? But after it, we talked about it and after uh, Terry helped him with this explanation, he changed it to green. So now that tells us that, uh, oh, he understands it now. But we don't want to erase it because when he goes back to look through um, what he's learned, he can uh, review the questions he asked. This one over here is red because uh, we still have to go over that. So red means uh, this is something I need to learn. Green means this is something I understand. And down here we have Frank who's posted something in yellow. That means he thinks he figured it out, uh, but it's definitely something he still needs to practice. So green, got it. Yellow, I need to practice. Red, I need to learn. So you can see uh, we can go through this organized worksheet. And if I were the tutor, I know what I need to teach. I know what the students are saying they need to practice and I'll be ready to uh, plan a session for them that's really going to help them. So how do you register and, uh, and become a part of this? Well, registration is happening now. Payment is due by uh, November 13th, which is next Friday um, from when I'm making this video. To register, you just go to the website, peertutorsofmaryland.com, click the heading uh, session two registration form. I will show you that. So this is the session two registration form. You just put your email address, your name and phone number, your student's name and grade, and then check the box for the study group you wanna sign up for. So do one form for each study group or each tutoring session so that we have a list uh, that we can go to and easily see who's in what session. And if you wanna do one-on-one -on -one tutoring, then just check the box for yes for that instead of choosing a study group. And then payment, you can use Cash App, PayPal, mail a check, or if you wanna use Zelle, you can uh, also 
check the mail a check option and then just send the Zelle payment to my email. All right, so that's how you register. If you've already registered or uh, if you are in session one, just finished session one, then your time will not change except for Algebra 2. Algebra 2 is now going to be from 5.30 to 6.30 instead of its session one time. Everyone else will be the same. And um, so that we can just concentrate between that 3.30 and 6.30 time frame. So as I said about payments, if you want to pay through Cash App, then the code is dollar sign Peer Tutors in Maryland. PayPal, you just use my email address, Zelle, same thing. Or if you want to mail a check, just send me an email and I'll give you the address for that. Um, so the thing to know, though, is as, uh, you know, information is spread by word of mouth and people want to join, the sessions are not going to be prorated for the study groups. If uh, someone wants to join a study group halfway through, it's still going to be $95. So that makes up for the loss of not having them there before, but um, still a good price. And to get the maximum benefit, encourage people to join at the beginning of the session. Although if they want to do a one-on-one -on -one session, then uh, that's a little bit easier. And we can uh, just, instead of starting that, the 10 week starts when the session starts. So even though our session two begins November 9th and ends January 29th, if someone wants to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session in December, then the, their 10 week session will just begin uh, in December and it will end in the middle of our study groups session three, but that's not a problem because it's a one on one appointment. So if you're confused about that or anything, just reach out to me, no problem. In fact, there is my email address again and my phone number. Feel free to email or call with any questions you have. Uh, we definitely want to hear it. Here at Peer Tutors of Maryland, we, we want the parents to be involved and um, we want to take your feedback and keep making our program the best that it can be to serve uh, the families that we have in our group. So uh, feel free to pass this video out to anyone that you think could benefit from some additional academic assistance this year. And you know, it doesn't have to be struggling students. On-level students and even uh, high achieving students can definitely benefit from being part of our program. We can take any student uh, at the level that they're at and through our individualized uh, method, we can push them forward. So I hope that uh, that helps answer some of your questions and that you'll join our group for session two.